Hey, Divine Feminine. Hey, girl. Um, I'm back <laughs> with the tea. So, um, first things first, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, only thing you need to do is hit the description bar. Everything you need to know is down below. Um, if you would like to tip and donate, everything you need to know is in the description bar. Um, first things first, this if this is not your energy, then do not take it. Do not try to make it fit. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if it's not your energy or if you don't want to hear it, then don't fucking comment. <laughs> Period. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pray first and then we can get started. And so this is spirit guys in my highest white light, highest good. I give you full permission to channel through me to give me divine feminine energy. What's going on? Spirit, what's tea spirit? I allow you to channel through me to see, say, reveal the energy for the divine feminine collective spirit. What's tea? What's tea spirit? What's tea? What's going on? I'm hearing the song, um, Chingy. Um, I think it's called One Way Back with Chingy with Justin Weaver. Every time she try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back. Every time I need you in my life. I'm not sure how this go, but I'm, okay, your divine feminine, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> your divine masculine, your masculine feel like every time he try to leave, it's like something keep pulling him back. So I'm getting like, he feel like that you always trying to push him away or it's nothing that he do is good enough for you. So it's like he'll try to leave or you will be on whatever you own with him and he'll leave or you will go but he feel like it's something that keep trying to pull him back to you he so he he understand like this is like not no faded connection he feel like that he need or he have to be with you i'm also hearing mooski she's a runner she's a track star she gonna run away when things gets hard. So he feel like like every time shit don't go your way, divine feminine, that you just run off or you just listen to your homegirls or anybody or you feel like that you can't, you know, put up with whatever he trying to get you to put up with or you not willing to withstand the relationship. What's he spirit? What's what's the divine masculine? What's the masculine on? Okay, so we got the imprisonment card here. So um he don't feel like he can move. So he feel like, like, I'm not able to move. Like, I don't want to move. So his thing is not, he not able to move. It's like he got inside of his mind that he doesn't want to move. He don't want to leave. He don't want to let whatever this connection you got between you and him, he don't want to let it go. His thing is, is like, he feels like he's locked in with you with this imprisonment card. Like, regardless of what happens whatever takes place in the connection he feels like that you guys are locked in and y'all are not going to part no matter you know like whatever happens um yeah with the with the expectation card here in reverse he's not expecting you he never expected things to actually go the way that they're going right now so he feels like that you are being difficult so he feels like you're being difficult you're not giving him a chance you not giving him a try. You not trying to hit nothing. He say your thing is is like I'm I'm done with this. I'm I'm fed up with this. So his thing is like, who are you to just want to let me go, or who are you just to cut this off? I just saying three three three. So his thing is is like you 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 must get somebody else. So his thing is is you you dealing with somebody else exactly. Um damn. So we got the mature woman here in reverse. So he yeah he feel like you you being a bitch or you being you doing too much. I'm getting like you doing too much or you doing the most. Like I always do this or this always how it is and you take me back. So he feel like this time you not trying to take him back or you not trying to hear what he's saying. He feel like you are being irrational with the mature woman here in reverse and like you stuck in your ways with this imprisonment card. He he did never expect this. He never expected this with his imprisonment card here in reverse. He feel like you're being irrational. You don't want to give him another chance. Like, yeah, with this high honor card here, he feel like that you got like a whole bunch of people in your ear or you got your family, your homegirls, your pastor, your teacher, whoever, your spiritualist, your mentor. He feel like you got too many people around you that's trying to get you to get away from him with this hot honor card. So his thing is like, wow, like where the fuck did this energy come from with this expectation card here? So he feel like you trying to act like you better than him. Yeah, with this courthouse card here, you trying to act like you better than him. So you either just got a new promotion or you just got a raise or you doing something new 
for yourself. You doing something better. And he feel like you doing the most because you would have never did this. Like, he feel like you switched up or you changed on him. Yeah, with the concern card here, he really worried about this. He he worried about it. He feel like this time, like, whatever he did, because I'm picking up infidelity. I'm picking up cheating. Like, whatever he did, he stepped out on you or he did something or said something with this high honor card. It's like he let somebody put the battery in his back with this high honor card here in his courthouse card. He let somebody get him to do something against his free will. At least that's what his energy is saying. Like he feel like that it wasn't really him that I really didn't do this. Give me another chance. I'm sorry. So with this concern card here, he feel like that he really did it. Like this time you not letting him back in your energy. You feel his thing is he keep, keep, it keep coming up with this high honor card. He feel like you think you too good now. Like who you think you is with this high honor card. He like divine feminine. Like girl, who you think you is? Like you ain't never been like this before with this courthouse card like oh so you really mean this like oh you too good oh oh you you can't take me back or whatever his thing is yes he is really on, on one with you with the um the bad feminine with this marriage card here he like what about i thought we was getting married oh i thought we was gonna have these kids oh i thought we was gonna uh have a future with this concern card so it's literally like he's throwing everything at you to gaslight you to make you Feel like that you the wrong person here with this courthouse card. His thing is he want to make you feel like that you did something wrong. But whole time with this courtship card here is showing up is that he stepped out with some type of karmic or he did something behind your back. Whether it was talking to your homegirl or talking to somebody. But it's like you found out about it with this courthouse card here. And he didn't think that you was going to find out about it with this concern card. So it really like fucked him up. And he like, damn. I'm trying to do damage control, but whoever the person is with the courtship card here, they brought you the information. So whoever, so now that now I see what this is, this person brought you the information, or somebody told you, slid in your DM, your friend told you, your mama, somebody told you the van feminine. So now I see what it is. His thing is, it's like, how the fuck did you find out this? How did you know this? And some of y'all didn't. Nobody didn't even tell y'all. Y'all just kind of like picked up on his energy being off. You picked up on whatever it was that he was putting down in it. And he don't, he can't figure out for the life of him, like, where the hell did you get this information from with this concern card? So his thing is, I ain't no dog. I ain't no cheetah. I ain't do none of this stuff. So his thing is, like, he lying. He lying through his teeth. He feel like he ain't do nothing wrong. Or he, he, I'm picking, I'm hearing damage control. This man is literally trying to do damage control. Literally say everything in the book with this courthouse card to get you to get off of whatever you own because he feel like he didn't do nothing. He feel like, well, Whatever he did was not that bad. I, I can't make this shit up with this thief car here. He feel like whatever he did, he it wasn't that bad with this thief car here. But this is coming up and staying out. This is coming up and staying out like to the wee hours of the morning. Oh, excuse me. This is coming up and staying out to the wee hours of the morning. Coming in drunk or coming in high or just talking reckless or you didn't found another phone or oh, excuse me. You didn't found another phone or you didn't, it's something that it's, it's, it's coming up. It's like, he, this is like unforgivable with this thief card here. So this man is really thinking like whatever he did or whatever the magnitude that it occurred, it wasn't that bad, but it's coming up as dude, you stay out all night or you cheated on me with my homegirl because it's coming up as he cheated with, on you with your homegirl or your auntie or somebody. It's coming up as this, whoever this person is, they close to you, Divine Feminine, and you found out about it. But with the main male card here in reverse, he never thought that you would find out about it. I'm also picking up that spirit put this on your path with this court with this um, courthouse card and adjudication. So he feel like really judge. He feel like really judge. He feel really small. Um, with this situation, but he know that he dead ass wrong, but he feel like that he need to come back from, from this with this poverty card, but spirit is saying like, no, divine feminine, like he's really trying to win you back or try to make you feel sorry for him because I'm getting energy that you either put him out or you, you changed your locks, you changed your number, you took your keys, you did something to him or you blocked him, you won't let him come back in with this poverty card. So his thing is he don't have nowhere to go now. 
So he don't have nowhere to go with this poverty card and this thief card, but he chose to betray you behind your back with this thief card and this poverty card. And he think that this shit is okay enough with this courthouse card here for him to be able to come back into your energy. Uh-uh, divine. Uh-uh, masculine. Uh-uh, I, I know you fucking lying. Yeah, like his thing is he feel like that he could change your mind. He could persuade you. He could get back in your good graces here with this courthouse card. He feel like that he this shit is reckless. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Yeah, with this high, this official person card here, the divine feminine, it's like, yeah, you, you, you rise up. I'm hearing that, that song, when I rise up, uh, 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 when we rise up. Yeah, it's like divine feminine with this official person card. It's like you starting to recognize your worth and you pulled away from this situation with this change card. And, your, and you chose with this courthouse card, like, I don't have to deal with this shit. Like, you constantly doing stuff and you feel like just because I took you back the last time or the time before that, that you can keep on doing this with this change card, like, you're going to change my mind. So your thing is, Divine Feminine, with this official person, you decided to choose you first. And this is the part that's messing them up because with the courthouse card here and um this great fortune card here in verse, he did, he's recognizing like you're you're pulling away from the relationship or you're pulling away from the connection. And his thing is, it's like, wow, you never did this before with this great fortune card. So he's trying to um manipulate you. He's trying to um like play on your emotions, play on you, but... Yeah, with this family room card here. So he's going to try to get like a family member, a cousin, a sister, somebody to like message you to get you to change your mind to let him come back in with this official person because he feel like I, I always come back or I, I'm going to do right by you. Yeah, so he's trying to bring like his family in. Like, so this is like a family full of karmic or some people that he close to that he know you don't really fuck with like that. He's trying to get these people to come towards you to change your mind, your energy. But spirit is saying with this occupation card here is keep on working on yourself, divine feminine. They're saying, I'm sure you probably already expected this with this community card here in reverse. But spirit is saying like, no, whoever these people is, they don't trust you because I'm picking up like some type of homeboy or somebody that he close to with this wealthy man here in reverse. And the homeboy like coerce your masculine, like talk to him in to doing it with this occupation car here yeah i can't make this shit up so whoever the person that he stepped out with is cool with 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 your um is how can i say so whoever your masculine stepped out on you with the person that is cool with your masculine the, whether it's his homeboy his brother his whoever the person was introduced to your masculine through this person so this person who introduced your masculine to the person the person that stepped out who who who, who was with your masculine this person is going to come to you the friend the homeboy the guy well whoever they're gonna try to come towards you to get you to change your mind with this occupation card to see like if you really messed up on that or if you really um go, you didn't get into the in your bag until like no nah, i'm not i'm not taking him back so he's so he's on his way back with this false person to try to change your mind yeah i can't make this shit up with the gift card so either divine feminine you smoke or you you be you smoke i'm kicking up hookah or Y'all all have hung out together or y'all have been shopping together on bed, on vacation or whatever, however this go with this gift card here. But he's going to try to present this some way where you could take your masculine back because, he, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> this is so fucking crazy with this unexpected income card, the gift card. This is so crazy. This this is so crazy. This is coming up as like trickery. This is like this man plans on tricking you. Your masculine friend, cousin, brother, whoever they is, they coming in to like bribe you with a good time, whether it's a gift, something, any something, so you could change your mind, so you could change, so you could let your masculine back in. I I'll be damned. Um, divine feminine girl, do not do not fall for this shit. Exactly with this journey card here. Spirit is saying, keep moving away from this. Move away. I can't, it's literally spirit is saying, move away from this. Spirit is literally saying, move away from this with this official person pathway and journey. Choose yourself first because if you allow this person to get into your ear with this thoughts per this, with this thoughts card, this person is gonna try to manipulate your energy. And also with this thoughts card here, it's showing up. As this person has like some type of attraction to you. So I'm not sure who they are 
to your masculine, but they got some type of attraction to you where they think about you in some type of sexual way. Now, I'm, I'm picking up like you have picked this energy up before, but you didn't want to go down that route with this pathway car here. You didn't want to tell your masculine about, I can't make this shit up, with this message car here. You picked up like some type of sexual energy or they liked you in some type of way, but you like kind of like brushed it off. You wanted to be like, nah, maybe I'm tripping with this official person and this pathway card and you like brush it off. But spirit is saying no, like yo, with this message of concern card here, they like everything that you picked up is right. They saying that this person has like some some type of energy towards you with this child card but you didn't bite the bait you didn't bite the bait with this child card it's like you kept your innocence or you you stayed true to yourself you stayed true to your masculine um regardless of whatever happened um with this house card here it's showing up as stability in this house with this with this child card in this house card here is showing up is that your masculine gonna try to like play on you to see like if he can get back in through like um through the kids or through somebody but he's his thing is like he feel like i'll be damned if i'm just gonna leave this time or i'm gonna let you go exactly with the distant horizon card here in reverse he's coming back he coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back because he feel like with this privileged lady card is like you too good of a person to let go. So why would I let my divine feminine go? Like why would I let her go? Why would I let her out of my life? Why would I let her out of my energy? But with this main female card here in reverse, his thing is like he cannot stop stepping out. He cannot stop cheating. He cannot stop being with other people. I'm picking up this child card here is that he got this this person pregnant or this person is about to say that she pregnant either or place the energy where it resonates but I'm picking up pregnancy exactly with you know, with this unexpected income card so this whoever this karmic chick is or whoever this person is that he dealt with or is dealing with with this unexpected income card this person is going to bring this information to you or it's going to pop out or this baby is getting ready to be born um spirit is saying yeah this person feel this person <laughs> is pregnant or they got a baby with your masculine Either or a place of energy where it resonates, but with the mature man card here in reverse, showing up as your masculine gonna lie. He about to lie about it because he feel like the connection between you and him is not over with this coffin card because he feel like you the best thing since sliced bread with this privileged lady card. And his thing is he's not ready to let you go. He's not ready to leave. He's not ready to let this connection go. Exactly because the man feminine, he knows like you are the one with this sudden wealth card here. He knows that you are the one with this toil and labor card here. The man feminine spirit is saying that you are getting ready to come in contact with another masculine now this is not your masculine that we're talking about but this is somebody new with this sudden wealth and this toilet labor car here so now the plot thickens okay spirit is saying that you're getting ready to come into harmony with a counterpart you're getting ready to come in harmony with somebody new with this toilet labor and this sudden wealth and it's killing your masculine with this bad health car he like picked up on the energy he literally could feel it so he y'all so tapped in with one another he could feel it and this shit is making his ass sick it's killing his motherfucking ass with this big house car and this toilet labor so he's literally trying to work any type of magic he's literally trying to do anything to win you back in your good graces exactly with this despair car here i'm picking up like he has been um gambling or he's been doing stuff that he don't want to do but i'm getting the energy like he is really down on his luck and i'm picking up depression like depression like this is shit is killing him to the point where he is like fucked up well he's not thinking straight um divine feminine uh your masculine not doing too good. I'm picking up like mental health issues, mental health disorders. Well, something is not right with him with this despair card and this bad health card. And it's, it's, yeah. Okay, so I see what this is. With this, um, with this lover's card here, it's showing up. It's like some type of STI, STD. Spirit is saying, watch yourself. Yeah, I can't make this up. Spirit is saying, watch yourself with this house card here in the lover's card. Spirit is saying, if you have not got checked out, they're saying, go get checked out because this is coming up is that he has like some type of STI, STD um, with this change card in reverse. It's like he cannot change this. So this is like... He feels like that he has put you in risk or you have been put at risk, Divine Feminine. I strongly suggest like you go get tested with this courthouse card here. Spirit is saying that your masculine knows this. Loss. Not only do he got like some type of baby that's getting ready to be born or a baby that's already here, but he knows that he has like some type of STI, STD, like only take that if it resonates but spirit is saying like go get go get tested because yo your masculine really been stepping out here with this main female car here in reverse and whoever the person is they are they told your masculine they already told your masculine that they got like some type of i'm hearing um Lil wayne got a venereal disease so they got like something 
yeah, with this pathway card here in reverse. So it's like your masculine is getting hit with like a series of like bad energy, bad karma, bad news. Um, with the false person card here. Yeah, so spirit is basically saying that this is your masculine's karma for doing whatever he did. He did to you with this false person card. So whoever this karmic is that he's dealing with with this main female card here in reverse was placed on his path with this pathway card here in reverse. And, um, shit. With this pathway card here and this court, with this courthouse card here in reverse, because he thought that this person was not going to catch him up, or this person was good for him with this privileged lady card here. But spirit is saying this person was placed on his path strategically to slow him down so he could go through some type of awakening, so he could basically come back down to a reality. But spirit is saying that it's over for him, like it's it's really over for him. Spirit is strongly suggesting divine feminine. Oh, excuse me. With this thief card in reverse and this coffin in reverse, don't take him back because he's going to try to come back in to manipulate you with this main meal ending the reading. Like, he's going to come back in to try to manipulate you or play on your energy. <sighs> this wow. <laughs> this, 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 this is a wow story, but... Yeah, Divine Feminine, I strongly suggest you choose you, but Spirit is saying this, your masculine is literally trying to come in to, like... Uh-uh. They, whatever they own is not cool. But this your girl, Hill Feminine, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you would like a personal reading, only thing you need to do is hit the description bar. If you would like to tip and donate, everything you need to know is down below. But I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.